here we are in the beautiful town of Buford, South Carolina. This town is one of the oldest in the state here and has some of the most beautiful antebellum homes that I have ever seen. So what we're gonna do is take you on a quick tour, show you the town, but more importantly, show you each of these houses. And I think you'll be absolutely amazed, like we were. Uh, just a fantastic place to come to. Some of the friendliest people and some outstanding restaurants in this town. So, hope you enjoy the video. Possibly one of the most beautiful seaside towns that I have ever visited is Buford, South Carolina, which was chartered in 1711. Buford has a population of 15,000 and is the second oldest city in South Carolina, right behind Charleston. Beaufort is located on the Port Royal Island in the heart of the Sea Islands and the South Carolina Low Country. The city is renowned for its scenic location and for maintaining historic character by preservation of its antebellum architecture and historic downtown area. Beaufort has been featured in New York Times and named Best Small Southern Town by Southern Living. It's been in the top 25 small city arts destinations by American Style and 50 adventure towns by National Geographic. Beaufort, South Carolina is also known as the Queen of the Carolina Sea Islands and is the perfect escape to disconnect from the chaos of the big city. In this video, I want to give you a quick look at just a few of the amazing antebellum houses which are perfectly maintained and well preserved. As you travel through the residential neighborhood, you cannot help but feel like you've stepped back in time. On our tour, I was surprised to learn how many movies have actually been filmed in this town, and it is really an impressive list. To name a few, they were The Great Santini, The Big Chill, The Prince of Tides, Forrest Gump, Daughters of the Dust, A Perfect World, A War Something to Talk About, White Squall, the Last Dance, Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil, G.I. Jane, Forces of Nature, and The Legend of Bag of Vance, just to name a few. One of the funniest stories I heard about filming in the town was the filming of The Prince of Tides with Barbara Streisand and Nick Nolte. It's told that the locals all stated that Nolte is a great guy who rode his bicycle around town getting to know the locals just a good friendly guy and that was a consensus of pretty much all of the town folk. However, Streisand was said to be the polar opposite. Reserving entire restaurants so they would be empty when she dined there. It was said she was a complainer, a non-tipper, and always refused to sign autographs to the locals. While filming, she rented a house in town on Prince Street and ended up putting up a large tarp in front of the house so no one could see in for apparently a lot more privacy. The funny story is one day the Marines on Paris Island, which is adjacent to Beaufort, flew over and woke Streisand up while they were conducting a training mission. She called the base to complain and was assured it would not happen again. However, the joke was on her. The following morning, five jets passed over the roof of her house at Mach 2, almost rattling her dentures out of her mouth, and the town had a great laugh at her expense. It is still talked about and laughed about to this day. There are so many things to see and do in Buford, and seeing these houses is just one small part of it all. My recommendation is to take a horse-drawn carriage ride so you can get the rich history of the city while you sit back and enjoy the tremendous views. This town is great for a day trip. However, I would also recommend spending a couple days to enjoy the shopping, the restaurants, and most importantly, the friendliness of the local people. Thanks so much for watching another quick adventure with Pat's Adventures. Please leave a comment on what you thought of the video. Until next time, thanks again.